Hello, this is Peter Charles, and welcome to my video on making Skagit tips. Here I've got two sets, a 10-foot set of T8 and a 10-foot set of T14. What I've done here is I've taken regular floater fly line, in this case this was cut from a, an old Airflow tactical Skagit head, and I've welded T8 to it to make a set of tips. I've done the same thing here using only a line cut from an Airflow Delta and some T14. The previous video was on making a butt end loop, joining floater to T material and making tip loops in T material are all the ingredients you need to make sets like this. Part of the trick of making a set of this type is to plan it ahead of time. Look how much floater you have, look how much T material you have, and when you've made a decision of how long you've got to work with, you have to work out the proportions to try and get your material to work out over a set of heads. In this case, I was able to have enough floater to be able to make a uh, tip with a two-foot section of T8, a four-foot section, six and eight, and then ten-foot of T8. In this case, I didn't have quite as much material to work with, so I went a little short or ended up with... Uh, about uh, two and a half, roughly five, seven and a half, and then ten. You have to do a little bit of planning ahead of time to make sure that you have enough material to go around. You don't want to just start cutting and welding and finding out you don't have enough. So work it out on a piece of paper first. Uh, the other thing I want to mention is I'm using a simple overlap um, joint that I showed in my previous uh, video. However, I, I'm sure some of you are saying, oh, that's never going to work, it'll fall apart, blah, blah, blah. So I'll show you a different uh, connection method that I've used. And if you look carefully, you'll see that there is T8 on both sides of the floater. Essentially what I've done here is I've made a tip loop, typical tip loop like I've shown in my other videos, except the loop is about 6 inches in total length, 3 inches on the side. And then what I do is I cut the end of that loop, insert the floater in between, and weld both sides. It's very strong. It'll never come apart. Um, the only thing you have to watch out for, as usual, is you have to be careful not overcooking this area and not overcooking this area. But that won't come apart. So if you, if you have worries about doing a single overlap, do a double overlap. It works just as well. It's just a little bit more tedious to do, and uh, it'll last a lifetime. So there you have it, Skagit or Motips as some people call them, uh, done up with just some floater and some team material and a welding gun. And uh, the great thing about this, you can do them the way you like. Okay, once we've finished our uh, set of tips, we can assemble them in a wallet like this and we're ready to go fishing. Just stuff it in a jacket pocket and you're good to go. Some things are worth noting that I do here, for example, this one has an aqua blue loop. That tells me that this is a 10 foot set. The green belly tells me that it's a uh, set of T14 tips. In this particular wallet, I have an orange loop, which tells me that this is 15 foot long, and the fluorescent yellow tells me that it's a uh, set of T8 tips. So in this case, I have both uh, 10 foot and 15 foot tip sets in both T8 and T14. The other thing I have to mention and stress strongly is that you plan out your T14 tips before you start welding. You should assemble your materials, measure them, decide what lengths you're going to use, and then cut them out and match them up. Uh, what you want to do is avoid the situation where you end up with a 12-foot set uh, section and an 8-foot section. You want everything to be, in this case, 10-foot. And uh, by doing everything in advance and cutting and uh, planning, you can avoid mistakes. And then you just a matter of welding them up. Within half an hour to an hour, you're ready to go. You've got a set of tips. And the beauty of this is, of course, is you can make them the way you like. Uh, if you wanted uh, higher density, lower density, longer lengths, shorter lengths, you know, when you're welding your own, you can do what you like. So there, there you have it, a set of uh, Skagit tips, or Mo tips as people like to call them, ready to go fishing. 